Welcome back everyone, it's Kaz from FarmVet Films here. Thanks for coming back for this week's technical. If you're new to the channel, these technical videos are shorter but slightly more information dense where we cover a specific topic related to veterinary medicine and farming. In contrast, the weekend videos are a bit more fun. They just follow the adventures and misadventures of a young farm vet day to day. If any of that sounds of interest, don't be afraid to hit the subscribe button ring the little bell next to it so you don't miss any new videos, click like and leave me a comment. Even better, go and watch some of the previous work on the channel. It's still a very new project. Hopefully we're moving in the right direction. Any feedback as usual is very welcome. Oh, and even if you're not new to the channel, let me know what you think about the new channel logo. Does it look like a child could have made it? Does it look like a reindeer, like my sister said? Let me know your thoughts. On to the topic at hand. We're moving slightly beyond my comfort zone as a vet here today. We're talking not about necessarily infection, disease. We're talking about animal behavior and specifically cattle temperament. If I told you, you could get an idea of an animal's temperament simply by looking at a photo of its head, what would your response be? I know mine would involve possibly a raised eyebrow and some polite skepticism. It sounds like a good yarn a seasoned stockman might try to spin to a gullible young vet. Believe it or not, there's a lot of evidence to back that theory up. Several large experiments, including a Temple Grandin paper, hopefully some of you guys know Temple Grandin, which is an animal behavior expert, across a great range of different cattle types and cattle farms lend credence to it. Now the idea relates specifically to the position of the whirl on an animal's face. For the avoidance of doubt, a whirl is a patch of hair growing in a circular direction around a visible center point. Humans have whirls, we tend to have them on top of our heads. Some people's are bigger than others and cattle typically have at least one whirl on their face. The position of that whirl on cattle's faces seems to correlate with their excitability. The experiments in question generally describe the whirl as being either above, level with or below the eyes. Using different methods, behavior and temperament are assessed for example, how restless or not they are when restrained in a squeeze crush and how smoothly they exit said squeeze crush. Across the different experiments, which again drew on many different types of cattle on many different types of farms, there was a consistent finding and that is that cattle that had a whirl above the level of the eyes tended to be more excitable. They were more restless, less cooperative when restrained in a crush. Now, there are a couple of caveats to that. The vast majority of the cattle studied would have been raised very extensively without daily close contact with humans. That may be quite different in the UK and Ireland. And also, they were typically looking at growing cattle, which weren't necessarily breeding adults, but instead they were calves bought to be grown on. That's not to say the same findings wouldn't apply. It's just that we can't necessarily make that assumption. As to why this link between world position and temperament exists, no one's really very sure. It's possibly something to do with development in the uterus, hormonal influences, who knows. It's not also particularly clear whether world position is heritable, although we know temperament on the whole is a heritable trait. I've put some of that literature in the video description. Unfortunately, a lot of it being academic, it will be behind a paywall, but if you are a student or you know a student of any description, they should be able to access it through the university or through their college. There's also a link to a podcast from the Farm Advisory Service where they discuss just this topic. That's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Something a bit different, probably a bit shorter, a bit snappier. Certainly as a vet, I know how important cattle temperament is to my working life and it will be doubly so for the farmers because you'll be handling them a lot more than we will. As I say, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the little bell click like, leave me a comment. And if you enjoyed that video, you haven't watched any of our previous videos, go ahead and take some time to explore those. Over and out.